Live report of the damage at the scene in Grand Blank TV5 reporter Lauren Piasco. Lauren, what are you seeing right now? Yeah, Colette, it's really a tale of recovery here in Grand Blank this afternoon, where just after 1 o'clock a.m., a tornado touched down, ripping through parts of the city. We are standing in one of the neighborhoods that seems to have suffered some of the most damage we have seen so far today. Joining me now is David Evans with Owen Tree Service. And David, how long have you guys been out this morning for? Uh, we've been out here since about 7 a.m. with crews working on it, trying to get things cleaned up. A lot of damage to the houses. Have you talked to any residents so far? Yeah, residents are a little... Uh, uh, it was a tough night for them. I think they're they're getting through it just fine, but it's a tough night. This house behind us seems to have suffered uh, some of the worst damage we've seen so far today. You said you guys are tackling this tree in just about a little bit. What are your expectations for the rest of this afternoon? Uh, we're going to be continuing to work in the subdivision as soon as we get this one done. Uh, we've got five or six others to do. Uh, we'll probably be out here till a little, little after dark. You know, it depends on the winds. It's right. got to stay safe for us out here, and it's getting windier. Yes, I mean, we. it feels like we've battled all the elements this morning. It started out warm, then it rained on us, then it hailed on us, and now the wind is really picking up, as you can tell. Do you have any other concerns for today besides the wind? Uh, no, really just the wind. The cold the guys can handle. They're used to the cold. Uh, they had a couple good days the last couple days, but it's mostly the cold and the wind. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love to see how many people, I mean, even just community members have come out this morning. They're helping cut down branches, cut down trees, and a lot of strangers here even just bringing their chainsaws and wanting to help out. How does that make you feel to see those good Samaritans out here? It's good. Grand Blanc's a great area, good community. It's great to see everybody out trying to help out with everything. Thank you so much, David. Once again, our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Grand Blank today as they continue that cleanup and really get started on it. Uh, once again, no one was injured and there have been no fatalities from this tornado reported so far, so we are very fortunate for that news. Live in Grand Blank, Lauren Piesco for TV5, sending it back to the studio. Yeah, that is great news. Thank you so much, Lauren, for that. And remember to please stay with TV5 for the very latest updates from the storm.